Hey, welcome back guys. We've got to finish up this bathroom here. We've got to get the toilet mounted to the pedestal. And we're gonna get the whole thing in the truck. After that, we can start working on the walls. I've got some really nice waterproof snap-in tiles that we're gonna be using to do the walls and the ceiling. I think it's gonna look amazing. And let's just get started. This is a toilet flange. This is what they install in the floor of the house for your install toilet. And hopefully this slides right in. And then we have PVC pipe that goes on the inside of this. Pop that there. Fasten the metal down to the floor. And then the toilet goes into this. One of the things you guys don't get to see in videos is how many trips I need to take to Home Depot and Lowe's just to get the stuff I need to even do these things. So I think every video averages about three to four visits. But anyway, the uh, hole saw we used yesterday to drill the hole for the flange, this is fused to this drill bit. So this drill bit should be removable so that I can attach it to my other hole saw. Completely locked. Nothing I can do. I tried hitting it with a torch. I tried WD-40. I tried... Uh, tried a lot of different things. So, we're gonna get a new one. We're gonna drill the hole for the actual PVC pipe that goes through the floor of the truck. And to help us do that, I got an extender as well. So we can go all the way down. So, should be able, hopefully, to get a pipe through the bottom of the truck tonight. Oh, I got a fancy new belt too. To hold my dried up gum. Be ready to drill some holes. smoking. And crackling. Okay. Sometimes you just need to have something that plugs into the wall. Cutting through an I-beam. So the bed is a bunch of little uh, kind of C-channels or I-beams, whatever the hell you want to call them. We're, flew the, we're through the floor. We just have to cut through that I-beam now. Ta-da! All right. There we go. Ah, it's my favorite thing to do. Drill holes through the floor of the truck. Smells like burnt plastic and metal dust. This is how much room is underneath the truck. You can almost sit up down here. I'm just gonna trim a little bit of the uh, I beam of the C channel that goes across here. So 
I think I fit the pipe through and it was getting caught. I think it was getting caught on these edges here. Because when you come through with the hole saw, you're coming through at a particular angle. It's impossible to go perfectly straight, so there's always going to be a little bit of something left over on one on some on this edge. Hopefully this cleaned it up enough. Let's give it a shot. So we're dry fitting the pipe through the floor while it's attached to the flange for the toilet before I do any PVC glue. Just because I want to avoid PVC gluing it and then fitting it down there and then realizing it doesn't actually fit and then, you know, just good measure. See, it's getting caught somewhere because we're coming in at an angle. It's getting caught on this side. So it can't go straight down, but it can go in a slight angle towards the front. So I need to make sure it can go in straight because when I fasten that with the glue, it's going to be going down straight. So I got to shave off some inside corner. So I played around with it, I got the uh, hole expanded a little bit, and we've got a flush. So now we've got PVC pipe going all the way down, right through the truck, ready to go. We got, we're good to go dry fitted, now we can get the actual PVC cement on there and put our toilet on. We're going to be using the two-piece primer and then cement here, so we'll go ahead and get our first layer of primer on. And the instructions call for a second coat on the inside here. Apply a second coat of primer to the fitting socket, it says. So we're doing that. Second coat going on. Now the cement. Do it on the pipe first since this is already kind of drying out. Okay, and inside. The, the cement actually kind of lubricates this joint so the pipe is wanting to fall out just due to gravity right now and I'm holding it in place for about 30 seconds again according to the directions Now that that's done, I think we're ready to attach the toilet and then fasten the actual shower floor to the rest of the truck. So. Oh yeah, so comfortable. The reason the toilet is facing this direction is because the majority of the plumbing is going to be happening right in this area right here. My utility cabinet will be here. A lot of my filter components and water stuff will be housed in this room. And we have a run going up across the floor to the sink, which will minimize, overall the objective is to minimize the amount of plumbing we need to do. So we'll have about three, three PEX pipes running to the sink for drainage, hot and cold. Back over here, all the rest of the water is going to happen right here. So not, not only does that simplify the insulation and the amount of piping and materials that I need to use, but it also eliminates variables in the future. So if something goes wrong, 
I've only got a small area to check everything I need to to see wh why is my water leaking, do I need to make repairs, do I need to do maintenance, things like that. So, And now that we got the shower pan slash bathroom floor in, we've got our footprint and we can start framing around it and putting in all our bathroom walls. All right, we gotta pause for a minute here. Uh, as I was building the bathroom out, putting the floor in, I'm realizing, thinking ahead, that I may have to at some point in the future access the floor of the bathroom underneath the shower pan in order to fasten my black tank. Now, this is the problem that I mention often, which is the order of operations. I have to do A and B before I can do C. And in this particular case, I'm trying to do C, which is build the bathroom, but I have to also make sure that my black tanks are filled and that everything underneath the truck is set so I don't have to do anything through the shower pan as I'm fastening black tanks to the, to the bottom of the truck. So we're gonna have to take a 90 degree right turn with this video and actually shift gears from building the interior of the bathroom to fixing the black tank underneath the truck. And that's going to involve removing the side skirts, preparing the mounting surfaces, figuring out how we're gonna mount it, because I still don't know exactly how we're gonna mount it. So uh, that's, just part of the, that's just part of what you have to deal with when you're making a complex, when you're building something complex like this. You know, with a Lego set, it's easy because it comes with instructions. It tells you what to do first. But if there's no instructions, you don't know what to do first. So we're doing a Lego set complex version in real life as we go live. And sometimes we just have to uh, shift directions as we realize. At least I had the forethought to think ahead and realize that I'm probably going to have to access the floor. So I may have to unscrew what I did already just to even fasten the black tanks in. But we have yet to figure out exactly how that's going to happen. So without talking... Let's chop the side skirts off the truck and see if we can get a tank under there. So these are the side skirts we're talking about. Uh, these are fastened on just a series of rivets. I'm gonna go underneath on the inside and see if I can chop out the back end of these and then just kind of pop it off, keeping it intact. I may reuse it, but I may also actually extend the side skirts down a little bit to hide my tanks after I get them installed. Okay, so I've sat here and implemented the uh, stair it for two hours strategy, and I think I've come up with a plan. We need to fasten the tanks on both sides, and I can create the support if I have, I can create the support if I have two places to hang it from, right? And I think I've discovered what I'm going to hang it from. So on the inside, I'm going to try to add some rib nuts, add my own nuts and bolts to the undercarriage because every uh, one, two, three, four, five. Every five I beams, it's actually a chant. It's a, it's like a square. So there's an aluminum square here. It's hollow, and I can drill into it, and, and I can put my own nut inside it. So I've done two tests. Right now, you can see these guys up here. Uh, those are both failed tests because I'm turning, learning how to use the rib nut tool, which is this guy right here. Uh, I stripped out the first one because my my settings were wrong on here, and I think I finally figured out how to use the gauge on the rib nut thing to correspond with the size of the rib nut that I'm using. So I'm going to use go for my third and hopefully final rib nut test to determine if this is going to be the strategy that I use going forward. take my M6 rib nut. Rib nut is just a system for adding nuts to places that did not previously have nuts. So I'm going to go to about 7 mil on this. Jam it up in the hole and squeeze. Unthread the tool, 
This is coming out a lot smoother than the last one. So I'm assuming that I've got it. I don't know. I can't tell. No. That still wasn't it. It compressed the threads to the point to where it can't thread evenly, thread smoothly. Too easy. Is that a full crush? Let me show you, show you what the insides of each of these look like. Well, I think we've uh, solved the question of how we're going to fasten the tanks on the bottom of the truck, and it doesn't look like it's going to require us to drill any holes through the floor of the box itself. So. I think we're free now. I have a list of things I need to get from Home Depot to even fasten those tanks at this point. So I'm not gonna run Home Depot right now or Lowe's or whatever home improvement store I go to. I think we can actually pivot back to working on the bathroom interior now that I know that I don't have to access the floor of the bathroom to hang these tanks. I hope this episode illuminated some of the challenges that I faced while building this thing. Stay tuned for episode two of the bathroom and be sure to join my technobarbarian.locals.com page if you have any questions, comments, or want to join my private community. So the reason we ran the toilet in this fashion, <clears throat> so the reason the toilet's in this 